السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم حدیث نمبر 55 آف کتاب العلم صحیح البخاری باب کتابت العلم اندر دیٹ باب حدثنا علی بن عبداللہ قال حدثنا سفیان قال حدثنا عمر قال اخبرنی وحب بن منحبہ ان اخیر قال سمعت ابا حریرہ یقول ما من اصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أحد أكثر حديثا عنه مني إلا ما كان من عبد الله بن أمر فإنه كان يكتب ولا أكتب نريتد أبو هريرا رضي الله عنه So this under kitab al-ilm باب كتابة العلم about the writing or recording of knowledge writing writing down or recording of knowledge or hadith نريتد أبو هريرا رضي الله عنه said ma min ashabin nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ahadun there is none among the sahaba there is none among the companions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam aktsara hadithan an hu minni who has narrated more hadith than me except illa ma kana min abdullah bin amr except abdullah bin amr bin al as فَإِنَّهُ كَانَ يَكْتُبُ وَلَا أَكْتُبُ Because he wrote, he used to write down hadith and I didn't write, I do not write, I cannot write. Then, so there is none among the prophets, uh, there is none among the companions or sahaba of Prophet ﷺ who has narrated more hadith than me except Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As who wrote it down but I never used to write okay or I could not write then so Abu Hurairah Allah who reported many hadiths and he reported much more hadiths uh, but he said Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As reported more hadiths only he is above him that is above Abu Hurairah in reporting the hadiths نمبر آف حدیث نو فتح الباری سی اندر اسپلانیشن قولہو فَإِنَّهُ كَانَ يَكْتُبُ وَلَا أَكْتُبُ حَلَا اِسْتِدْلَانِ مِنْ نَبِي حُرِرَهُ عَلَى مَا ذَكَرَهُ مِنْ اَكْثَرِيَتِ مَا عِنْدَ عبد الله بن عمر اي ابن العاس عبد الله بن عمر بن العاس عَلَى مَا عِنْدَهُ وَإِسْتَفَادُ مِنْ ذَلِكَ أَنَّهُ عَبَا حُرِرَهُ كان جازما بأنه ليس في That is Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As. Ma anna al-mawjood al-marviya an Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As aqallu min al-mawjood al-marviya an Abi Hurira bi al-u'afin mula'afa. The proof of Abu Hurira radiallahu anhu for his statement that Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As reported more hadith from Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam than him. That is than Abu Hurira. Is that he, that is Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As used to write but Abu Huraira had no knowledge of writing. So, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As could report so many hadiths. Then, from this statement, we may assume that, or we may uh, think that, Abu Huraira reported more number of hadiths than compared to other reporters. Except Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As. Or we may think that Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As reported a greater number of hadiths than Abu Huraira. But the fact, the, uh, the fact is that uh, actually hadith reported from Abu Huraira or uh, hadith reported uh, from Abu Huraira are much more than that those reported from Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As. Mm -hmm. He collected many hadiths. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As collected many hadiths. But the reports Sahaba, uh, Tabi'in reported from Sahaba. Okay. Eh? For this, Tabi'in reports from uh, Sahaba. Or Sahaba from other Sahaba. Or companion of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from some other companions. Like that. Uh -huh. So, reports from, Hadith reported from Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As is still lesser in number. Or, it's a, uh, Hadith actu uh, actually, Hadith reported from Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As are far less in number than Abu Hurairah.
than that those from Abu Huraira. Now why it happens so? First sababu ihi min jihatin ahduha anna Abdullah kana mustaghilan bil ibadati aktsar min isti'alihi bil ta'lim fa qallat ar anhu. So so many reasons are attributed for this. That is why the reports from Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As are less. Though he collected many hadiths. Hmm? Okay. Why? One reason attributed is that Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As might have spent most of his time in ibadat or worship rather than in teaching hadith, in teaching people hadith. Ta'aleem. Thaniha. Second reason attributed is that أنه كان أكثر مقامه مق... بعد فتوح الأمصار بمصر أو بالطائف ولم تكن الرحلة إليهما مما يطلب العلم كالرحلة إلى المدينة وكان أبو هريرة متصديا فيها للفتوى والتحديث إلى أن مات ويظهر هذا من كثرة من حمل أن أبي هريرة فقد ذكر البخاري أنه روى عنه ثمان مئة نفس من التابعين ولم يقرأ هذا لغيره Second reason attributed is that Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As spent most of his time in Egypt and Taif. Hence, hadith seekers or knowledge seekers might have not preferred traveling to Egypt. They might have preferred to go into al Madina. Okay. Then, Abu Huraira resided in al Madina till his death. Ila Amata. Till his death. Mata died. Died. Hmm? Involving, he engaged in, he invo involving in teaching hadith and in giving fatwas. Abu Huraira spent most of his time in Al Madina, or he spent uh, there in Al Madina teaching uh, hadith and giving fatwas till his death. And people uh, preferred to go to Madina in search of hadith and knowledge rather than going to uh, uh, Taif or Egypt. Okay, follow? Yes. Now, Imam Bukhari himself testified that 800 Tabi'in reported hadith from Abu Huraira. And such a place uh, is there no, uh, not for any other Sahaba, such a rank. It is uh, no other companion from whom Tabi'in reported so much hadith. Uh, so Tabi'in, Tabi'in means those who followed in Ihsan, in, in virtue, uh, the Sahaba. Sahaba Companion of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Companions of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Tabi'in, those who followed Sahaba. So those who followed Sahaba are called Tabi'in. Tabi'in, Taba'a, Tabi'in. Okay, Tabi'in. Then, uh, many of the, most of the Tabi'in reported hadith from this uh, Abu Huraira. 800 Tabi'in reported hadith from Abu? Yes, sir. Eh? Abu Huraira, yes, sir. Eh? Then. Another reason attributed is that ثالثها مختص به أبو هريرة من دعوة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم له بأن لا ينسى ما يحدثه به كما سنذكره قريبا then uh, third reason is that أبو هريرة Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم made a special dua for Abu هريرة and after that he did never forget any hadith or anything which he collected, which he uh, uh, heard. Okay. Yeah. So, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a special dua for Abu Huraira. So, that is another reason. Now, third reason, uh, fourth reason, Rabi Uha, Anna Abdullah kana qad wafira fi sham bihim li jamalin min kutubi ahli al-kitabi fa kana yannur fiha wa yuhadith minha fa tajannab al-akhla anhu li dhalika kathirun min a'immati al-tabi'in Wallahu a'ala. No. Another reason attributed is that Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As was in Sham and hence there was a probability of collecting from Ahlul Kitab or reporting from Ahlul Kitab the people of the scriptures. So most of the Tabi'in Imams they might have avoided reporting hadith from Abdullah ibn Amr. They might have preferred reporting from Abu Hurairah both of the Sahaba. Then next تنبيه قوله ولا أكتب قد يعارضه ما أخرجه ابن وحب من طريق الحسن ابن أمر بن أمية قال تحدث عند أبي هريرة بذلك فأخذ ف 
فأخذ بيدي إلى بيته فأرانا كتبا من حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال هذا هو مكتوب عندي قال ابن عبد البر حديث حمام أصح ويمكن الجمع بأنه لم يكن يكتب في الأحد النبوي ثم كتب بعده قلت وأقوى من ذلك أنه لا يلزم وجود الحديث مكتوبا عنده أن يكون بخطه وقد ثبت أنه لم يكن يكتب فتعين أن المكتوب عنده بعير خطه نو no. قوله ولا أكتب هي سج أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه سج ولا أكتب I do not write or I cannot write okay eh? I don't قد يعارضه ما أخرجه ابن وهب من طريق الحسن بن عمرو بن أميد that is it is his statement that I do not write it uh, we may think that it or uh, it contradicts another report from Uh, Hassan bin Amr bin Umayyad it is recorded by Ibn Wahab uh, one hadith is there one report is there Qala, he said Tuhudditha inda Abu Hurairah inda Abi Hurairah bi hadithin one man someone uh, reported one hadith uh, uh, mentioned one hadith near Abu Hurairah Allah wa anhu then fa akhadha bi yadi then he caught my hand who says Hassan bin Amr bin Umayyad says, okay, eh? then فَأَخَذَ بِيَدِي إِلَى بَيْتِهِ Then he took my, uh, my hand and he led me to his house إِلَى بَيْتِهِ to Abu Huraira's house, okay, then فَأَرَانَا كُتُبًا مِنْ حَدِيثِ النَّبِي صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَرَى means to show, to show أَرَى to show, رَأَى so أَرَى showed, okay Arana, then he showed us Kutuban min hadith in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some records or some kitabs in which there it is written. The hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Faqala hadha huwa maktubin andi. Then Abu Huraira said, these are the documents or these are the kitabs. These are the written records eh, with me of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's hadith. Then, Qala ibn Abdul Bar. Then Ibn Abdul Bar explains this. Hadith of Hammam in Asahi. Hadith of Hammam is the most more authentic or most authentic hadith is hadith of Hammam. Hadith of Hammam says that Abu Huraira could not write. Could not write. Then, wa yamkinu al-jam'u bi annahu lam yakun yaktubu fil ahad al-nabawi thumma kataba ba'dahu. Then, these two reports, that is, one report is that Abu Huraira could not write. Another report is that uh, with Abu Huraira there were some written documents, written records. Okay. Eh? So how these two combined? Eh? How these two can be combined? Ibn Abdul Bar says how? He might have written anything during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa But he might have written it later. Might have uh, learned writing later and written later after the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa kultu now I say I say means who say Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani says that is Fatuh al-Bari's father this Fatuh al-Bari kultu wa aqwa min dharika anhu la yalzim min wujud al-hadithi maktuban andahu an yakuna bi khattihi wa qad thabata anhu lam yakun yaktubu fata'iyana an al-maktuba andahu bi ghayri khattihi khattihi that is it is not compulsory that the written records or books with Abu Huraira might be written by his own handwriting. It may be, it may be by, uh, written by uh, some others and kept by Abu Huraira. Okay, yeah, there is such possibility. As it is clear that Abu Huraira had no knowledge of writing, we can arrive at such a conclusion that the handwriting might not be compulsorily his own. Mm -hmm. it, must, it might be some others written yeah, by... Uh, written by some others and uh, it is kept by Abu Huraira in his house okay then وَرَضَى أَحْمَدْ وَالْبَيْحَقِي فِي الْمَدْخَلْ مِنْ طَرِيقِ أَمْرِ بِنَ شُعَيْبْ أَنْ مُجَاهِدْ وَالْمُغِيرَةُ بِنَ حَكِيمْ قَالَا سَمِعُنَا أَبَا هُرَيْرَا يَقُولْ مَا كَانَ أَحْدٌ أَعْلَمَ بِحَدِيثٍ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مني إلا ما كان من عبد الله بن أمر فإنه كان يكتب بيده استأذن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في الكتاب عنه فأذن له إسناده حسن then next 
one hadith reported by Imam Ahmad and by Haqi. From Mughirat bin Hakim and Mujahid. Both of them said, we heard Abu Huraira saying, Abu Huraira saying, we heard. Who said, who says, Mughirat bin Hakim and Mujahid says, both of them says, we heard Abu Huraira saying, inna sami'ana, that is, Samiyana Abu Huraira. We heard Abu Huraira Yaqul saying, Ma kana ahadun a'alama bi hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam minni. There were no companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knowing the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam than me, no other person. Illa ma kana min Abdullah ibn Amr. Except Abdullah ibn Amr. Fa inna hu kana yaktubu bi yadihi because he used to write with his, with his yad. Hand. Hand. And he used to memorize it or learn it by heart. Then, I used to memorize. Okay. But I did never write. I do not write. I did not write. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa fil kitabi anhu. Abdullah ibn Amr, he sought permission from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to write down hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, for Adin Ruhu. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave Adin. Permission. Isn't it? Isn't it? That is permission. permission. Adina means permitted. permitted. Yes. Lahu is not for Adin Ruhu. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave permission for him. It's not who person. It's a Sanad, chain of reporters. Chain is good. Now, similar hadiths are there. No, ولا يلزم منه أن يكون من الوعي سواء لما قدمناه من اختصاص أبو هريرة بالدعاء لأدم النسيان ويحتمل أن يقال تحمل أكثرية عبد الله بن أمر على ما فاز به عبد الله من الكتابة قبل الدعاء لأبي هريرة لأنه قال في حديثه فما نسيت شيئا بعد فجاز أن يدخل عليه النسيان فيما سمعه قبل الدعاء بخلاف عبد الله فإن الذي سمعه مضبوط بالكتابة والذي انتشر أن أبي هريرة مع ذلك وعافد ما انتشر أن عبد الله بن أمر لتصدي أبي هريرة لذلك ومقامه بالمدينة النبوي بخلاف عبد الله بن أمر الأمر then the power to memorize hadith وعي the power to memorize to learn by heart hadith may not be necessarily سواء the same for both أبو هريرة and عبد الله بن أمر بن الأس the power may be different as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a special dua for whom? Abu Hurairah Abu Hurairah who he did never forget hadith after that okay but there is possibility that he might have forgotten before the dua of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam some hadiths okay yeah, he might have forgotten and at that time Abdullah ibn Amr had the additional skill of writing too yeah, he then we استفاد منه ومن الحديث علي المتقدم ومن قصة أبي شاه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أذن في كتابة الحديث أنه وهو عارض حديث أبي سعيد الخدري أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا تكتبوا أني شيئا غير القرآن. so from this hadith so under باب كتابة العلم we analyzed certain two other hadiths also so from this hadith and the previous hadith of علي الله عنه about the records with him okay then the story of Abu Shah, we may assume that or may uh, understand that Prophet ﷺ permitted the writing of hadith from him. Eh? So that's why this Sahaba kept the records. Okay, hadith. Then, but you are able. hadith Abi Sa'id al Khudri. So this argument or this fact contradicts. The view, uh, the hadith of Abu Sa'id al Khudri, where it says, and Rasulullah said, Qala, he said, Prophet said, La taktabu anni shay'an al Quran. You don't write from me anything except Quran. So such a hadith is there. But some other hadiths uh, point out that there are, uh, there were record, written records with the والجمع بينهما أنه خاص بوقت نزول القرآن خشية التباسه بغيره والإذن في غير ذلك no. So how these two reports, two types of reports can be combined? Uh, there are uh, many views regarding this. 
First one is that. أن النهي خاص بوقت نزول القرآن خشية التباس به غيره والإذن في غير ذلك. It is the prohibition to write down or record hadith during the time of revelation was during the time of revelation of the Quran so as to avoid mixing of hadith with the Quran Quranic text and the permission granted even granted was to write down or at other occasions one view is like that eh? so during the time of revelation of the Quran at that time the writing down of any other thing was prohibited by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and at other, other times Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam permitted it that is one view now second view is that او ان النهي خاص بكتابه غير القران مع القران في شيء واحد والاذن في تفريقهما that is second point is that second view is that the prohibition was to write down quran and hadith in the same record or same paper the same thing and the permission was to write it separately so writing down quran and hadith in the same paper or same thing so it may lead to confusion not no at that time so at that time uh, uh, verses were revealing uh, continuously so uh, uh, the revelation was completed with you 23 years okay uh, you know done so the permission was to write down Quran and the hadith separately in separate things separate papers separate records then third one أو أن النهي متقدم والإذن ناسخ له عند الأمن من الالتباس وهو أقربهما مع أنه لا ينافيها. Then third point is that third view is that the prohibition was the rule at the earlier stage and the permission was later when the fear of mixing Quran with the Hadith was eliminated. It was gone and hence the former rule of prohibition was abrogated. نسخ نسخ. Okay. So when the fear of Mixing Quran and Hadith was gone, was alienated. Then Prophet Sallallahu permitted writing Hadith. Okay. Then. Another view is that. وَقِيلَ أَنَّهِ خَاصٌ بِمَنْ خُشِيَ مِنْهُ الْإِتِّقَالُ عَنِ الْكِتَابَةِ دُونَ الْحِفْظِ وَالْإِذْنُ لِمَنْ أُمِيَ مِنْهُ ذَلِكَ مِنْ That is, the prohibition was in the case of persons whom the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam thought would depend much upon writing. Rather than memorizing, and the permission was uh, for such other people, uh, uh, for other people who are who are not like that. That is, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught about some Sahaba, some companions that they may, if they write, they may depend upon writing only, and they will memorize less. Okay, then for such people, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prohibited writing, uh, and so other people. Who, uh, whom the Prophet ﷺ feared, had no such fear, he gave permission to write. Okay, that is another way. Assalamu alaikum.